Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here. Today, I'm going to be doing a bit of technical analysis on Bitcoin because Bitcoin has had an amazing run-up over the past three months, and then I'm going to talk about where I think it might be going from here because I think we might be in all-time high territory for a little while. But before I get into it, if you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe because it really helps my channel and helps me keep making these videos. All right, so Bitcoin, Bitcoin had a very nice run-up here. I'm saying had because I do think we're probably seeing the end of it. Right back here during the China news, after we hit 5,000, we went into about a two-week bear market. and we hit, we hit the bottom down here on the 15th of September. And ever since then, for the next two and a half months, yeah, two and a half months, almost three months, we've just been having an amazing bull market except for these four days. All these lines on here are just channels I've drawn. You don't need to worry about those. Go away. But one thing that I really thought was going to happen is I thought we were going to hit 8,000 and then we were going to pull back to around maybe that we were going to pull back to maybe around 5,000. I thought we were going to pull back to 5,000, not 6,000. I didn't, this pullback was not what I expected. I thought this pullback was going to be a lot stronger, and it wasn't. If we look down here on the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, which just shows how strong a market is, if, whether it's overbought, if the line, if this line right here is up here, that means it's overbought, and too many people are buying, and sell side is coming. And if it's down here, that means too many people are selling, and that means buy side is coming. Um... It didn't reach as oversold as it has in the last two pullbacks. Right down here on the 30, it hit about 45. So this wasn't really the pullback that we needed. It wasn't strong enough to be able to justify another bull run like we had just had. But nevertheless, we went on this other bull run up for about two and a half weeks. This was back here the 11th of uh, the 13th of November. We're on the 2nd of December right now. And we have, and if we go on here to the uh, one hour chart, we hit an all-time high, this is the Coinbase chart, of right around $11,400, which is incredible because I called the high of this bull run at 8000 I did not, in my wildest imaginations, it's, in imagination, expect for it to go this high. So that's really good. It's nice for the short term, but it kind of worries me for the long term because we've had a nearly, well, we've had very close to a 400% run-up in the last two and a half months, which isn't uncommon for Bitcoin. This run-up back here was about 350%, if I recall correctly. But where do you where do I think Bitcoin's going to go from here? Right now, Bitcoin is very 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 overbought on the RSI. If we look at this line right here, this is the relative strength index. Our, the RSI is up to 82. It has not been that high since what is 6? Uh, June. It hasn't been that high since June. And and really it hasn't been that high since about halfway through January, February, March, April, May. So it's really oversold, it's really overbought, and as we see up here in these peaks, we've typically seen when it gets up this high, we go into a bear market. On these last two run-ups, on this one, we had a double top with the RSI, but that's no big deal. And then we came down here and hit the 30. I think the same thing is probably going to end up happening to Bitcoin, because I'm not trying to spread FUD, but we've had an amazing run-up, and there's just no more room to go. I don't think that this market can keep going the way it's gone. We've had an incredible run-up, and a lot of people have made a lot of money, including me, and hopefully you. But I think we're due for a correction, and it's really healthy for Bitcoin that we do have a correction here. Because if we don't have a correction and we just keep going up, that makes it all the more likely that this market is going to end up looking something like... When this loads, it's going to start end up looking like this. This is starting to look very... This, this bull run right here is starting to look very, very, very familiar to this market back here. We had a really nice, fast run-up that a lot of people made a lot of money in, and then we went into a bear market for a year and a half to two years. I don't think that's going to happen with Bitcoin because there's a lot of mass adoption now. But Bitcoin is in a very precarious situation. It needs a healthy correction because it hasn't had one in a long time. Now, as far as short-term, what do I think will happen? If we go in here to the hour, Bitcoin has had this really interesting run-up. We had down here at this double bottom, we had right around 6000 a little while ago. Bitcoin has doubled in price in the past three weeks. And then we hit our we hit our top up here, around $11,400, and we've seen kind of this inverted head and shoulder pattern right here, actually. And I think it, and it, if this keeps going down, it looks like we've double topped up here, which is not very healthy for Bitcoin whatsoever, but if you... The double top's close enough that it's not going to really show up on the, day, on the day chart, so it's probably not a huge deal. But if it does double top, what we could see is we could see a more prolonged bear market that might extend throughout January or February into 2018. That probably won't happen. We might see a little bit more buy action. We might get up to like 12,000 and then pull back and do a healthy correction. But if we don't, but if we do double top here, we might even see a head and shoulder pattern form here. I've kind of drawn this on the chart here with the little draw tool. 
that would be the shoulder, that would be the head, and that would be the shoulder. And what that signifies is the top or bottom of a market. Which is why it's really strange that there's an inverted head and shoulders at the top of this market. That normally doesn't happen. That's an interesting sign, because that normally would mean that it would keep going. Let's zoom back out here to the day. As far as MACD, MACD basically tells you whether a market is in uh, bullish or bearish territory. And when this blue line, I'm colorblind, it's blue or purple, I, when this top line is above this, whatever whatever color that is line, when this line is above that line, that means that the market is in bear ter uh, bull territory. When it's the other way around, like oh, like right here, you can see my mouse, that means it's in bear territory. So on the one day chart, we are in very, very, very bearish uh, bullish territory. We haven't, had, we haven't been this bullish in a long time. So either we're going to see a bull flag here, the same way I said we we're going to see a bull flag right here, we're going to see a bull flag up here. Or we're going to start seeing the pullback that needs to happen because this market is definitely very overextended. Over here, we saw a pullback of around close to 40%. Well, actually, it was exactly 40%. So if we saw a pullback from 40% from 11,000, we would see a pullback maybe to around 7,000, which is which is right about where I've drawn this. We could see a double, well, not really a double bottom, but it would be because it's too far apart. But we could see a low right back here from where we came, and this would just topple over in a triangle formation. And then it would probably keep going. Because Bitcoin is getting crazy amounts of mass adoption from the public and from all kinds of government entities. Well, not necessarily government entities, but companies. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to do a quick video explaining what I think Bitcoin has done and what I think it's going to do. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.